Now we're just going to run through some of the main physical features of the Lilliput 569 GL. On the front, we've got the selection of buttons here. We've got um, an easy access headphone port, a power button, a source, source button, so you've got one for composite video, component, HDMI. We've got four function buttons, which can be customised. And we've also got tweaking dials here, which can change the, audio, the brightness and the audio. On the side, we've got a quarter inch British standard width of thread. On the back, um, we've got component input and composite input through BNC connections, an HDMI output and HDMI input. Uh, we've got a back here for the suitable with, that comes with two battery plates. Um, we've got a mains DC 12 volt power input and a switch here to toggle the battery power. And then on the bottom, we also have another quarter inch British standard with, with thread to be used with your tripod or camera shoe mounts. Now I'm going to show you all the included accessories that you get when you buy the 569GL from Lilliput UK. So you get the monitor, you also get an HDMI to mini HDMI cable which can be used with any DSLR camera. You also get two battery plates. These are for connecting your own batteries to the monitor. This, this, this battery plate is compatible with QM91D batteries. And this battery plate is compatible with DU21 batteries. It's very straightforward to fit onto the back of the monitor. Simply clip it on. And there we go. You also get a shoe mount adapter as well, which means you can connect it onto your camera, particularly any DSLR camera you might have. You also if you get a adhesive desktop stand, so for customers who aren't going to be using the 569GL with a camera, they can still use it using the quarter inch pretty standard with, with thread. You can still you can still use it as a stand. You also get a mains power adapter. So if you want to use the monitor by mains, you get to use this. You also get a sun hood included as well. This is great for use. Um, when the monitor is being used outdoors. So if, if you're using this monitor under bright sunlight conditions, this will help outdoor use. And it can easily be, very easily be clipped onto the monitor. And it's very sturdy. And you can see it gives a shadow over the monitor so it can be used outdoors. The 569GL is currently one of Lilliput's high specification monitors. It features a natively high resolution 800 by 480 pixel LCD panel, a 6 millisecond response time and one of our highest contrast ratios at 600 to 1. Uh, this makes colours much richer and more accurate. And now one of the unique feature, features of the 569GL is the ability to output video by HDMI to another monitor. The main, main benefit of this means that there are no more splitters. Now on this particular 569GL, you can see if I turn it around, I have two HDMI leads connected. One of them is the input coming from the source, and one is also an output going to a second monitor. Now, for reference, I've connected this up to the 668GL, a 7 inch a 7 inch monitor and you can see the difference in size of screen for comparison and on the back of this all I've connected is the power and the HDMI input. Uh, the volume can, in can be controlled independently on this monitor too and it doesn't mean to say you have to use another small monitor you can use any size monitor um, we're just using a 7 inch here for now, but you can use any size, you can use any HDMI monitor that you like to benefit from this feature. So that's the, the HDMI splitter functionality.
on the 569. Okay, now I'm just going to run through some of the function buttons that you can find on the 569GL. Firstly, we have uh, these four buttons here, which um, they can be programmed to do different functions, but by default, function one, if you hold that down, it gives you a viewfinder. Press function one again to remove the viewfinder. Function two is overscan mode. Function 3 is RGB colour, so you can exclude certain colours, which is really convenient. And finally, function 4 is set to 4x3 mode, so if you're shooting in 4x3, it won't stretch the image. Keep the viewfinder on. And now you can very easily adjust these. If you go to key configure, you can see here that all four functions can be individually programmed. And finally, along the front, we also have four function, uh, channel keys, so you've got HD, a button for HDMI channel, a bu button for component channel, and a button for comp composite video channel, and finally a power button, and a 3.5mm headphone jack for easy access. So this makes it much easier to change channel if you're using multiple sources. Okay, now I'm just going to run through the on-screen display menu um, that you get with the Lilliput 569GL. Uh, to access the menu, simply press this button here, and it brings up an on-screen display. The first option we have is picture menu, and by twisting this dial, we can get these data. We get, we get this kind of information, so you can change the brightness, contrast, saturation, tint, and red, green, blue color levels and there are other various preset color levels which you can just change by twisting this dial. So all these can be changed. We also have key configuration so you can quite easily change the different functions of these function buttons here and also what these two dials do when they're twisted. So you can change the brightness, change the level of colour. So you can even configure what these two do as well. Um, source menu. This allows you to change, to disable and enable different channels. So you can disable the composite video channel, you can disable the component channel and have, for example, only the HDMI channel enabled. And finally, we have miscellaneous menu, which um, allows you to reset the monitor settings. So if you made some changes and you weren't happy with them, you can very easily reset them.